Today, I'm going to be talking about developmental networks. These are regulatory and signaling genes that lead to developmental processes and the interactions between them. They determine if a gene will be transcribed depending on those interactions. We have the T-bar, which inhibits the next gene from being expressed. We also have arrows, which activate the expression of the next gene. There are scientific examples like the anterior-posterior axis developmental network in maternal genes, but to help visualize it and make it a little easier to understand, I'll be using characters from She-Ra and the Princesses of Power. This is based around season three, so there's slight spoilers ahead. So here we have the characters that are part of our network. We have Bo, Glimmer, Queen Angela, Adora, and Catra. We also have the portal and the fate of Etheria. The network goes, Bo activates Glimmer, who activates Queen Angela, who inhibits the portal, which inhibits Adora. She inhibits Catra, who activates the destruction of Etheria. So this is our full network. So what if someone isn't present in the network? What happens if Angela isn't there? Well then, there is nothing to inhibit the portal, and so Adora is inhibited, so she can't stop Catra, Etheria, will be destroyed. What about if Bo weren't there? Then no one would be able to activate Glimmer, so Angela is never activated, and so the portal will inhibit Adora, and Catra will destroy Etheria. Now what if two of them are gone? What if Glimmer was gone, but so was the portal? While Queen Angela can't get activated, since the portal isn't there, then there's nothing to stop Adora, and so she can beat Catra. Etheria isn't destroyed. Or what if Queen Angela were gone with Adora? Again, Angela isn't there to stop the portal, but since Adora isn't there either, Catra is still able to cause the destruction of Etheria. Ultimately, you want to look at the most downstream mutation to see what the outcome will be. If Catra weren't there, Etheria can't be destroyed. If Adora weren't there, no one would stop Catra, so Etheria is destroyed. It's necessary to acknowledge the relationships between each gene. The presence or absence of just one component of a network is what determines if a fly's head grows on the posterior end instead of the anterior. It's what determines the fate of Etheria. Every component matters.